Today, we're taking a look at the new BQI C3 Pro, an e-bike with some really nice features like dual batteries, a range up to 90 miles, a Gates carbon belt drive, built-in rear rack, and many other high-end specs while having a sleek design. There's a lot to cover, so let's get right into it. The BQI C3 Pro retails for 2,200, but has some deals available to save you money, so we'll put links in the description of this video to the best prices. First up for the unboxing and setup. The bike ships in a large box and requires some light assembly, which takes around 30 minutes. You'll need to install the front wheel, attach the handlebars, pedals, and adjust the seat. New includes instructions along with a detailed video that explains each step in detail. The new BQI C3 Pro is available in one size and the frame is a step through with a V-shaped design which makes it easy to get on and off the bike. The recommended rider height is 5 foot 2 to 6 foot 6 with a weight limit of 287 pounds. The bike comes with two batteries that are located along the frame, one on each side, and they are super easy to remove and install using a key lock. And yes, it's the same key for both batteries. These two batteries are lithium ion 48 volt 9.6 amp hour batteries with a total capacity of 920 watt hours, giving this e-bike an advertised range of up to 90 miles. And while that's more of an economical range, even using throttle only you can still achieve between 50 to 60 miles. And yes, you can ride the bike with only one battery installed, so that means you can have one charging while you're out riding. And you can also buy extra batteries for $250 each from new if you want to have a third or fourth battery. While riding, the e-bike gets going up to 27 miles per hour using pedal assist, and the throttle only is limited to 20 miles an hour, making this a class two e-bike. Meanwhile, the motor is a 500 watt rear hub motor that peaks at 750 watts. And a unique feature of this bike is that it has a Gates carbon belt instead of a bike chain. There's many advantages to this, mainly being that it's quiet and smooth. There's also no maintenance required. These belts are rated to last tens of thousands of miles. With this drive system, there's no gears, oils, or grease that could get on your pants either. However, the lack of gears also means that this bike is a single speed. And the gear ratio isn't very high, which means it's easy and comfortable at low speeds, but you'll notice that pedaling becomes pretty irrelevant once you get up to 15 miles an hour and above. And at that point, you're better off just coasting using the throttle. For pedal assist, the e-bike has a cadence sensor, which means that it kicks in at a set power once you start pedaling. There's three modes for pedal assist to provide different amounts of power, and you can also turn off pedal assist altogether if you want to. There's a throttle thumb control on the right side, and you can use the electric power whenever you need it. For controls, they are simple with three buttons on the left side of the handlebar, power, up, and down for pedal assist and settings control. The display is color and shows you important information like your speed, odometer, and trip distance. There's also two separate battery meters, one for each battery. And you can fine tune the display settings like display unit, backlight brightness, and auto power off. Underneath the display, there's a USB port so you can charge your phone while riding. For lights, the new BQI C3 Pro features the Halo daytime running lights that is distinct to New's brand and can be found on their lineup of electric scooters as well. Turning on the headlight brightens up the road and the bike also features a large rear taillight that also functions as a brake light. The bike even features an included rear rack, which is well integrated and suited for up to 75 pounds of weight. It also comes standard with front and rear fenders, which makes it ready for inclement weather. Speaking of waterproofing, the entire bike is splash resistant. The battery is IP67, while the motor is IP65. Basically, it means that you can safely ride in the rain without worrying about anything getting damaged. The tires are 27 and a half inch Chaoyang street tires, and they're reinforced with 1.5 millimeter layer of Kevlar to make them more puncture resistant. Packed with so many components and batteries does make this e-bike pretty heavy coming in at 70 pounds with the batteries. They each weigh about six pounds, so while you can remove them or reduce the weight, this is still not an e-bike you wanna carry up many stairs. Now let's take a look at a few of the drawbacks we found while testing this e-bike. First, there's no suspension either in the front or the rear. So if you're going for one of those long rides, make sure it's not gonna be a bumpy road. The brakes are also mechanical disc brakes with no branding. So while they do the job, they aren't anything to rave about. There's also no Bluetooth or app connectivity, which we were surprised that it wouldn't be integrated with their existing app. On the flip side, New does provide a generous two-year warranty on the e-bike and components, which includes the battery and the motor. And for the price coming in at less than $2,000, this is still an excellent choice for a long-range commuter electric bike. So let us know what you think of this e-bike in the comments below. Next up, be sure to check out some of our other reviews right here on our channel.